Hey kids, how do you like to make this? Can crushing claw. Well in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to make. This can crushing claw. But first of all, before we get into that, every great toy, product, video game starts with a good idea. Firstly, take out your worksheets and write down some of your good ideas. Maybe for toys, maybe for video games, maybe for time travel. And after you've written a few down, then discuss it with your classmates. See what their ideas are. So now you've spoken about your ideas, discussed some of your friends and mates' ideas, let's get started with the claw. Designing our claw. Well, a good place to start is if you have a look on Google Images and get a bit of inspiration. Have a look at the claws, jaws, grippers, pliers. Have a look at all the things that grip things on Google Images and just see what you like. On Google Images, I found these pliers. See? They've got gripping jaws. They seem to be good at gripping things, like that. And they work around a central pivot. So I'll show you how I turn these pliers into my claws. With a little creative thinking, designing, cutting and gluing, look what we can make. Okay, so we've made our claw, but how are we going to power it? How are we going to make it go in and out without doing it with our hands? Well again, go back to Google Images and have a look at cranes and levers and see how they power them. And let me give you a little hint. Have a look at a system called hydraulics and see how that works. Did you notice on Google Images, levers and cranes are often powered by cylinders? And it's actually a system called hydraulics. Let me show you how hydraulics works. See how you got one cylinder here? It's got liquid in it, we push it in, moves the other cylinder over here, moves that out. That's simply how hydraulics is. It transfers energy from my left hand cylinder into my right hand cylinder and vice versa. And they call it hydraulics because it's a liquid that passes through the lines that does the transferring of energy. How can we use this system to drive our claw? See how on our claw we want this back bit to go in and out. What happens if we hook a cylinder up to it? Our cylinder goes in and out, and so does our claw. We'll hook it up to our power source, and there we have a can crushing claw. But notice I've got to pull the piston here, in and out with my hands. Is there a way that we could do that automatically or get it to do it itself? How about we use a rubber band like this? You notice how a rubber band, you stretch it back and then you let it go. Like you stretch it back, stores the energy, you let it go, it uses the energy to fly off. Let's put the rubber band Put a rubber band on these two pins here. Put a rubber band on these two here. And now look what happens. Our claw closes, the rubber band stretches, we let go, rubber band brings the claw open all by itself. So there you go, we've got hydraulics, closing the claw, opening the rubber band, and then the rubber band store the energy Open up the claw. So there we have our own can crushing claw. And it's simply a system of two levers, like in this pair of pliers here, a pivot, and we've got hydraulics. These two pistons here to power it. One opens it and one closes it. So let's look back at what we did. First of all, we had an idea. Cool idea to make a claw, 
We didn't really know where to start, so what we did, I went onto Google Images, got a bit of inspiration, and we started it. And I did a drawing, cut out a claw, and then the next problem was, how are we going to power it? So again, we did some more research. How do other machines grip things? We could have gone anywhere really, but Google Images is a great place to start. So then we attached a hydraulic system. And attaching that gave us a pretty powerful can crushing claw. That's actually what engineers do. Engineers come up with ideas if we want to build machines, want to build bridges, want to build buildings. And then they work out how to make them. And then they organise the building of them. And that's really what engineers do. Hope you um, enjoy this episode. So what I'd like to do now is just quickly show you some of the models that you can make using these engineering principles. We can put a handle here and another lever and we can turn our can crushing claw into a more universal tool. We can have a different kind of claw that works differently. Picks up cans, picks up things differently. But it's still a claw, it still worked hydraulically. You can have one of my favourites, which is the unicycle, which uses hydraulics, uses leverage, uses gravity to move along. Here's another one of my favourites, called the Rolling Rhino. Uses hydraulics, uses rubber bands to store energy, uses levers to roll and move along. It rolls on four wheels, rolls on three wheels, and even rolls on two. Hey, that's quite cool, isn't it? That's just some of the wonderful things you can do with engineering. Engineers design toys, they design software, video games, buildings, all sorts of things. So thanks for watching, and see you next time for some next cool models.